I'm going to go over the setup of an AOD pump. We're using our economy gravity filler as an example with the Gemini valve for product supply. The same concept will transfer over to you using any of our inch and a half valves or sanitary valve uh, or a pro series or anything else. Um, the key is you just want to find the which airline is opening, sending air to your product supply valve to open that valve and that's where we're going to tie into. Um, so our basic setup on this is supposed to be how you would receive the LED pump from us. You're going to connect the bottom port to your product supply tank. The upper port is going to connect to your product supply valve on your machine. You're going to have an airline connection here for a standard quarter inch uh, quick connect. And you're going to have a 10 foot roll of airline with a T fitting in it. So the airline you're going to want to connect up to this and you're going to pull it up on the top of the regulator and turn it all the way counterclockwise. That will give you zero air pressure on that. That will be where you're going to want to start off. We're going to come up to our product supply valve. On this Gemini valve it's going to be the front port and it's going to be closest to the, the hoses. We're going to disconnect this line here and install our T. I have a spare piece of line so I'm going to use that or you can simply separate these back a little bit further and you can cut this and put the T in. So I'm going to do that now. It is easier and safer to do this if you have the air off of the machine. So I have that one hooked back in. Just install the T here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the air to the machine. And turn on the valve for my product tank or supply tank. While watching the gauge on my regulator, I'm going to turn on the product supply on my HMI. And I've already drained product out of this tank so that I know that it should be calling for product at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and just rotate this valve clockwise. And once you get up, Enough air pressure here to start clicking. That's when you know your pump's going to start functioning. At that point, I would watch the product supply line as it's coming up. And you can watch the product slowly start to come up that line. You only want to fill that tank as quickly as you need to, that you, that you reduce any oscillations that you have in the tank. Depending on how large your containers are, that'll change. A smaller container, you might be able to get away with a slower rate. For a larger container, you may need to keep pumping this up. The more air pressure you put on here, the faster it'll pump, the faster it'll fill your tank. Normally, you're going to end up somewhere between the 25 and 50 PSI range on one of these. And you'll just let that run, and as soon as it fills the tank up, I'm going to turn this up for the sake of time. It'll continue to pump and pump and pump until your float is satisfied in the tank, and at that point it will shut off automatically. There, our float satisfied, our tank is full. Now as the tank drains during your fill cycle, this will turn off and on as it calls for products.